we haven't had one of these for a couple of weeks now. This is the new model Range Rover Evoque, two litre diesel S model in the beautiful metallic grey, 2019 69 registration, but it's only got 6,600 miles on. Now this car's got some funky extras, extras that I haven't seen on other Evokes. Now today with the life price in this car is only 34,990. It's a tremendous car, 180 brake horsepower, automatic, beautiful colour, new model car, very modern, everyone seems to like these. I can see why, because they're a good size 4x4 that delivers on running cost, but it's just, it, it is it's very, very slick. So to start off with, we've got that new front end with the new grills, complete new headlights with the LED style daytime running lights. The new front bumpers are more curved off now, look very smooth, but still very aggressive and bulky. Front and rear parking sensors, and you've got fog lights just down there. You've then got like the black inserts on the front corner of the bumpers, side gills on the side there, black window surrounds and some protection glass. This one's then got the 18 inch high gloss black wheels on it, which are again, absolutely curb damage free, no corrosion, nothing like that, just absolutely beautiful. That black high gloss black strip down the side, which continues to the rear. Now with the new shape of box like the Velars, they have the smooth handle, so when the door is locked, uh, the handle's sucking nicely and gently, so you've got a nice flush area there. As you open it again, it pops out, allowing enough space for your hands to get in to open up. Some protection glass that I've mentioned already, but look at this for an interior. Completely changed and a bit like the new shape range of a Sport and the Velar and the Vogue. You've got that sort of twin full ceramic digital display, the larger media screen and the bottom section for the sort of heating controls, heated seats and everything else. You've got the A-speed gearbox, and this one has a full panoramic glass roof. Again, you've got the lovely diamantic style, um, style inlays on the doors. Again, that's more like a leather soft touch to it. Your normal electric windows and mirrors all the way around, and lots of space in the, boot, uh, in the back for your rear passengers. So again, leg room and a headroom there. Center armrest pops down. Three, pick, three point seat belt for all your passengers. And you do have ice fix attachments as well. But what a great car, it's the color and amongst all the, the black bits here and there, it just looks fabulous. Again, little finer details, if you look at the rear lights as they go in, you'll see that it's got like a sort of mirrored effect, it's not, it's actually four or five different layers in the back lights, and that's the same with the rear indicators, if I show you, it's little things, ostensibly the car looks beautiful. Sometimes it's the smaller things in life that makes all the difference. So you can see from that indicator there, it's dead refined, flat LEDs. This one's got reversing camera, just there, and you've got a very nice generous boot. Seats go down 40, 40, 20, and just underneath you have your spare wheel. It's only a dinky one, but it's more than enough because most manufacturers don't give you, give you spare wheel no more. Great, great space, great car, fabulous colour, and you have that real big rear bumper on it now, so it look again, gives it a more sporty feel and sporty look. A very big, nice, large rear spoiler, but I'm going to show you something quickly that you're not going to be able to see properly, but that there, as it is your antenna, there's also a camera fit it to the back of that. I want to show you in a few seconds what that's there for. Because it's got a quite a big rear end and only quite a small glass to see through, that little camera is for this. So if you look in here and you're the driver, you're looking at the mirror. Can you see that mirror? And if I flick it, you can now see the camera. Stay there, Thomas, kindly. So the, cam the mirror you're looking through now is not actually a mirror, it's more it, it'll go back to the mirror, so it gives you a full panoramic, pa panoramic view, um, so you can see more and more clear exactly what's going on. Again, nice little gadget and gives more. What's more important, and this is the bit I was telling you about, which is quite bonkers really, because I've not seen many Vogue's with this. This one's got the heads-up display. So the heads-up display, like most high-performance cars, displays the speed that you should be going, how fast you are going, navigation, radio details, Bluetooth details, and it displays it all. So when you are driving, you're fully focused onto the windscreen, and it's all projected onto the windscreen for you, which is brilliant, like a mirror effect. But other extras, remember this is a new model car, so the steam wheel, again, like the Velaz and the new ship range of Sport and Vogue's, you've got the ceramic finishing to the, to the steering controls. Nice glass finishing, again, very up to date, very modern, but this one's got heated steering wheel, it's got cruise control with adaptive cruise control, and that's what the small and big hours are for. So you can have one car length, two car length, or three car length in front of you. So if you're doing 17 miles an hour, as the car in front slows down to a halt, so will this, as it speeds back up again, so will this car, and it'll keep the same measurements all the way through. It's a great, great gadget to have. Your normal stereo controls, Bluetooth controls, that's all there. 
Armin Hermes and Windu Wipers, but even the finishing on the on the tips, nice, very good finishing on it, good quality. Going to the screen, this one's got the full tilt and screen in it, and it's a full wider lens media system. Dead easy to use. Apple CarPlay is a big one. Everyone's asking for Apple CarPlay these days. Uh, your normal other stuff that you would want in a car, it's got all that there. All the different adjustments for the heating controls. Your two keys, and then you have a lovely non-slip pad here. You can rest your keys or your phone on if you have to. And underneath you've got the twin cup holders. The centre armrest is now changed in these new models now. You've got twin, split, armrest, and underneath you've got more USB and the 12 volt socket. In here you can put your glasses so they're not scratching them. Great car, 6,647 miles. You can't want much more than that, in my opinion. 34.9 I know, cracking colour, like new, with a mega, mega spec, and I mean mega spec. Fabulous car, just arrived. My name's Joe, my name and numbers on the bottom of the screen. Call me, text me, WhatsApp me, I'm more than happy to help you. Thanks for watching, bye bye now.